Hi everyone, Mike here and this is the Asus Transformer Book T300 FA. The name might not tell you much, but this is Asus's first in one laptop built on the Intel Core M new generation hardware platform and promises to be powerful enough to handle your everyday tasks, efficient enough to run for several hours on a charge, completely silent and, last but not least, fairly affordable, with a starting price of around 600 euros here in Europe or dollars in the US. But does it actually deliver on these promises? Well, stick with me for the next few minutes and you'll find out. There are a few things you need to know from the beginning. First of all, this device is a standalone tablet bundled with a matching docking station in order to get laptop-like functionality. The hardware and the battery are placed in the slate itself behind the screen. Second, this is not a high-end device, so you shouldn't expect to find premium materials or top-tier features on it. The case is made out of textured plastic and tends to show smudges easily, with glass covering the front face. The slate weighs about 800 grams and is fairly compact, judging by the bezel around its 12.5 inch screen. It's comfortable to hold and use both in landscape and in portrait modes, and you can firmly grab it from the thicker lower edge if you decide to use it in portrait for browsing or reading documents. But I feel this T300FA will spend most of its life attached to the dock. Latching the slate and the dock together is only a matter of seconds, and the docking unit bundles a full-size keyboard, a trackpad, two USB slots placed on its sides and a hard drive enclosure inside. Our test unit came with a hard drive pre-installed, but you will be able to put one yourself in there if you buy a version without. Together the two sides make for a 1.6 kg or 3.6 pounds mini laptop with a blue plastic case and a silver aluminum-like interior. Looking at the I.O., you'll find those USB ports on the dock, but also a micro USB and micro HDMI connector on the slate, as well as a micro SD card reader and the standard power, windows and volume buttons. All those are easily accessible both in tablet and in notebook mode. Taking a closer look at the dock's hinge, you'll notice that Asus padded it with some sort of fabric so it won't scratch the tablet when having the two connected. A fine touch. I also appreciated its outer rubberized finishing that lets you securely grab the device in everyday use. On the other hand, the slate doesn't fit snugly in this hinge, as you can see from here, and I worry in time this might get even looser and have negative effects on the port that links the tablet with the dock, so be careful how you use it and treat it nicely. But let's get back to that screen now, which is crucial on a tablet. My first impression wasn't that good, mostly because the fonts and fine details look somewhat fuzzy, blurry on this panel, and it's not because of the resolution. Yes, Asus went with a 1366 by 768 pixel 12.5 inch display on the Transformer book, but I have a similar size screen with the same resolution on my Lenovo X220 and it's a lot sharper. I noticed I could fix this matter from clear type, but only in the apps and programs that actually support it. With a side though, the IPS panel on the T300FA isn't bad. The brightness is just shy of 300 nits, which is enough for indoor use, the colors are surprisingly accurate and the contrast is solid for a device in this price range. On top of that, I have nothing to complain about the touch interface or the viewing angles. But even so, I'm overall not happy with this display, not when you can get better with devices that sell for less these days. Anyway, let's turn our attention on the keyboard. Acer did nothing crazy with the layout, this is a standard chiclet keyboard with full-size square keys, except for the small directional pads. The typing experience is decent and the overall feedback good enough once you get used to it. But in the keyboard sits the trackpad, smaller than on some of the other Transformer books I've seen lately, but accurate and reliable. It's made of plastic, that's not as smooth as the glass click pads available on the higher end devices, and it's also loud and clunky when it comes to performing actual physical clicks. But if you're like me and tend to mostly use taps, swipes and gestures, you'll have little to complain about here. Ok, with all this out of the way, let's see what this thing can actually do for us. Like I mentioned in the beginning, the Transformer Book T300FA is the first Asus 2-in-1 built on Intel's Baytrail Y hardware platform and it bundles the Core M5Y10 processor, the basic model in this line. This is a 4.5W processor and it's not designed to be fast but efficient. However, when bundled with 4GB of RAM and a 64GB of storage, it performs decently well as long as you don't throw too much at it. Browsing in Internet Explorer, streaming 1080p and even 4K clips from YouTube, Watching MKV movies and even playing some older games are all possible on this configuration. You can also multitask between these apps, to some extent, without encountering stuttering or lag. As a side note though, performance in Chrome is poor and I'll tell you why in the written review available over at ultrabookreview.com, where you'll also find some benchmark results and my detailed impressions on how the laptop performs with various use scenarios. I'll leave the exact link for you in the description. For now you should know that this device is fanless, thus completely quiet. However, when having the slate and the dock together, you'll hear the hard drive inside once it becomes active. 
So my advice, buy the version without the hard drive and put your own SSD in there. You'll need the extra storage space as the one on the tablet itself will very quickly run out, even on the 64GB model. The passive cooling solution does lead to rather high case temperatures. Both the screen and the tablet's back easily reach temperatures of 37 to 40 degrees Celsius in daily use, and actually higher than that when watching 1080p movies or playing some games. That shouldn't bother you much as long as you keep the transformer book in laptop mode, but if you'll pick up the tablet, well, those temperatures will, and quickly. Ok, so far we can conclude that the T300FA is a mid-level device with fanless hardware, capable of handling everyday tasks well enough. The battery life is the final ingredient in this recipe and it's not exactly as advertised. Asus put a 30Wh battery inside this thing and that translates in around 4-5 hours of real-life everyday use with a tablet and a dock latch together and 5-6 to six hours if you use the slate on its own. You'll find out exactly what to expect in terms of battery life from the written review, I've tested a few different use scenarios and I can't include them all in here in the video. Even so, 5-6 to six hours of daily use isn't great. Devices like the Asus Transformer Book T300TA can last for 8 or more on a charge, and the Baytrail Y hardware is not that much faster than the Intel Clover Trail platform inside this other Asus 2-in-1. Which leads us to one final question. Is the Transformer Book T300FA worth its 600 bucks starting price? Well, I'd say yes and no. Yes, if you want a slightly faster fanless computer than the Atom Clover Trail models already available in stores, with a bigger display and a similar size body, but don't mind spending $100 more and sacrificing battery life. No, if you only need a computer for basic activities, you're on a tighter budget and have the all-day battery life high on your priorities list. At the end of the day though, it's important to keep your eyes out for options. These next-gen ultrabooks are just starting to pop out and plenty of models will be available in the next weeks. And when that happens, the T300FA with its average screen and battery life might not sound as interesting as it does right now. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and make sure you check out the written article on ultrabookreview.com for extra details that were not included in the clip. And if you have any questions or need help picking your next ultrabook, get in touch with me on the site or on Twitter, I'd be glad to help you out. Catch you later.